Good day, people of the internet. Hello, and welcome to Norwich Career Mode. Here we go. We're going to jump straight in with a simming match, because what I really want to do is hopefully get through to the final, and then just play the final, so then we can actually win some silverware in our first season. So we're going to jump into this sim match and see how it goes. Okay, so as you can see, we have got the same lineup that won in the last two games, I believe. So hopefully, they can do something against Werder Bremen, who are a much much stronger side hopefully we can do something they've got Gebri Selassie who I really like I mean he had a great card on FIFA 13 they've got Janunzovic but it doesn't actually matter because Redmond has scored and Vestergaard has got injured and then Ojija Ofoe has then scored again the guy that felt threatened is now in the team and scoring for us I'm quite happy with that 65 minutes played surely this is ours for the win surely just don't concede in the last 80th minute or get injured Ember Carney now getting a goal, that's nice. But there we go, 3-0, good win. Okay, so we jump out of that game and we get two bids accepted. So I put in a 5 million bid for Cochrane and a 4 million bid for Mohamed Besic. Now, and we also get 2 million, which is great. Because I want to bring in both of these. He wants 60k a week, which we're going to give him, because why not? Just leave it at that, because he's going to be our starting striker, because he becomes second highest striker I believe and instantly younger he wants 35k which we can do easily four years um we're just gonna leave it blank and see how that goes we've also got a bid in for Ember Carney of 7 million now I kind of want 7.5 just a little bit over what he's worth but is that being greedy I don't think so we're gonna we're gonna get rid of Ember Carney we're gonna get rid of him so they've come they stayed Renee Rems whatever they are have come in that they want 13 million or less for this but um I don't really think I want him I'm gonna look for another right back to see how we do we've also got rejected offers from Spurs for Eric Dyer so we're just going to delete all of this because I hate having a cluttered thing but six million for Dyer do I really want to play that I don't think I do that's double what he's worth and his stats no we're, we're gonna get him Bessage because he's and Ganso they want how much do they want for Ganso I don't they didn't tell me but We'll give, him, we'll give him 8 million for Ganso. Because I need a cam, really. I really do. So Ganso, hopefully they'll accept that. And we're going to look for another right back right now. Okay, so the one player I'm going to look for at right back is Sam Byram. I know it says he's a right mid, but in previous FIFAs, he has been a right back. And I believe he plays right back in real life. So hopefully we're going to pick him up and see how that goes. That's the only right back I really kind of want. Because I want to increase the overall, no, decrease the overall age of our team. So hopefully we can do that with some nice, good, young players. We also got a transfer offer for Cameron Jerome, which we will put up to 3.5 million. Because that's probably what he's worth. 3 million is a little bit under, 2.4 is way under. We also get Be Besic and Cochrane now both coming in, which is... Brilliant, because we've got two very good signings that are very young. I mean, 24 for a striker is pretty young. So hopefully, they can both jump straight into the first team lineup and help us in the game against Frankfurt. Okay, so here we go. We're going to play Frankfurt, and they have Maya. I believe they still have Maya, who absolutely destroyed the Bundesliga for goals last season. But we have Cochran in the team, along with Besic. We've dropped Malumbu, which might be a risky thing to do, but we've dropped him. And hopefully we can beat this team. Yep, Frankfurt. We can beat Frankfurt, hopefully. We have got weak, weak centre-backs, but they're both in form. So we're going to see how it goes, and we're going to jump straight into this game. Okay, so we're jumping in this game where it's... That's not even a real name. That Signal Iduna Park. That's where we are. We're playing as Norwich, obviously, and we're playing a German team, Eintracht Frankfurt. So hopefully that's the trophy we want to win. First season, get a nice trophy under our belt. That would be great. Of course, we have the two stupid commentators, but they won. They only barely got through on penalties, which is intriguing because we beat Köln two 0 and if they drew with no, we beat Köln three 0 and if they drew one one and then went five four on penalties, that is interesting. But there you can see Besic is now in the team. You can look at player debuts. They've got Reinhardt, which is interesting. But we have Cocker in. I mean, he cost us five million, but hopefully Cocker in can do some damage in this game. Let's see how we do. Halson plays a great ball through to Cochrane to Matt Jarvis. Gonna try and play it back to Cochrane. It's fallen to Cochrane. Cochrane with the finesse. Oh, Linda saved it. Redmond's, Redmond's tried to flick it over himself and hit himself in the face. That's the sort of thing I would do in real life. Not gonna lie, I have done it a few times. But he was miles offside anyway, so it doesn't even matter. But 
It's good, it's good that we're actually creating chances for once, but they are just passing, which I'm not a fan of. It's horrible. That's an insane ball from Coca. How has he even done that? I'm not even sure. I'm not going to... What? Ref, are you mad? This ref's clearly just mental. Oh, they played it short. Wasn't expecting the short. Wasn't expecting the Hasebe to Aigner, who's just not going to get... Oh, how has he put that ball in? Ruddy, Ruddy, what is even... Wow. If that wasn't for Kafaiti, we'd be we'd be one 0 down for sure. We'd be way down. We should be down, to be honest with you. That was absolutely shambolic. But it doesn't matter because Halson is not quick enough. That's cool. Great. Kafaiti's won the header. Halson, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Halson? Play it to everyone who's offside. Brilliant. Why is everyone offside? Why? I don't get it. Why are you all running offside? That is horrendous! I'm not even sure how that's not a free kick, really. And now they're just going to run down the line, stop it, Matt Jarvis. How are you not quicker, Matt Jarvis? I'm pretty sure you're rapid, and he's just literally burned you for pace. If it wasn't for Whitaker, pretty sure we'd be... Oh, well, that's a terrible pass. This is not going as I planned, but it doesn't matter. Olsen's dealt with it. This ref does not want to give us free kicks. Like, I touch their players anywhere, it's a free kick. But it doesn't matter, because Cochrane's breaking through. Come on, Cochrane. Inside. There you go. That's a penalty. Yes! We got a penalty! Finally! The ref gives us a decision. But Cochrane won it, so Cochrane gets to take it. And we're going to go top left, hopefully. Hopefully that's going top left. What is that save? Are you kidding me? I I'm having issues with penalties right now. I might just go back to my old tactic of just shooting down and see where it goes. That's got to be a goal. Matt Jarvis, come on! Message played through a great ball. Cochrane. Cochrane. Cochrane, come on! Got to be finishing these. Okay, so at halftime, we've been all over them, essentially. We have been absolutely destroying them. But somehow, we're not, we're not up. I don't get it. I really do not get it. And we've got more pass accuracy than the computer. That doesn't make sense. But anyway, we're going to jump in and see how we do in the second half. Let's put into Redmond. Into Cochrane. Cochrane, finish it, please. Cochrane. Cochrane, are you kidding me? This game hates me. This game just hates me. I. All right, we've still got it. This time, Housen, Housen's been tackled. It's just not going my way today. Coker. Coker, you've got to deal with this. Coker's not dealt with it. Coker has not dealt with it. They've scored. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. This is like Ultimate Team all over again. This is why this game is the most infuriating game in just in the world. I hate it. Cochrane, if you'd finished your chances, we would be 6-7-0 up. But actually, maybe not 6-7-0. But it's just simple. One ball in. Just easy header. Ruddy, I'm questioning. But we're now 1-0 down. Hopefully, we can improve and just do better. Maybe. Redmond. We've gone out wide to Ophobi, who's put it into Cochrane, who sees the overlapping run from Besic. Mohamed Besic, what are you doing? Why are you taking a touch and then trying to tackle the ground? It doesn't make sense. That is not a thing to do, Bennett. That is really not a thing to do. Oh, it doesn't matter. You've redeemed yourself. You have redeemed yourself. Malumbu. What are you doing, Malumbu? That is just ab abysmal. What? What are you even doing? Now where are you? Oh, Reinhardt is trying to put in a ball. Whitaker's back there defending. Well done, Malumbu. Take a touch. There you go. Where's Houlihan? He's on the ball. Trying to play through Embakani. Embakani's picked it up. He's going to cut inside. Run. Just run. Run. How? How are you being caught? Doesn't matter. Shoot. Straight at the keeper. Are you kidding me? That's right. That's still a chance. Houlihan. No. Chance gone. Great. The goalkeeper has made nine saves and mine's made one. Are you kidding me? Coker. Playing through Embakani. He's going to just... Burn passes. No, he's not. Because he can't get past Russ. You can't get past Russ. We're playing 10 men. I've. J Why have they not got a red thing above there? Did their player not actually get sent off? Am I playing 11 men? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I don't know how many men I'm playing, to be honest. That, that isn't really a sight you want to see when you went for your first trophy, is it, really? I'm not happy with that at all. We were all over them. They didn't deserve it at all. That, that just says it all. They had one shot on target and one goal. We had eight and six. That's disappointing. The goalkeeper made nine saves. 
Wow. Okay. Cool. They made all of their subs, apparently. Which doesn't make sense, because they didn't sub on a goalkeeper. But okay. Oh, no, wait. It doesn't show all the subs. Okay. But I'm still disappointed. Okay, so Arsenal have put in just a 7 million bid, and we're just going to accept it, because I've had enough of him. Last game, you saw how bad he just was. He's, he came on as a sub and did terrible. Sao Paulo say they want more money, so we're going to probably take out King and just add 9 million. See if we can get Ganso for that. I'd love to get Ganso for that, to be fair. And they're happy with our performance. A bid has come in for Wes Houlihan, and it's 3 million, but I want 4 because he's our best. He's one of our best players, so yeah. Everton have matched the bid for Cameron Jerome, which is great. We sold Mbakani, he's gone, which is great. They've accepted a bid from another team. Are you kidding me? Alright, well, I'll give you 10 million for him. Actually, look, 12. 12 million for him. Because he's probably worth that. Hopefully. He might grow. He might not. How much did they... 9.5, and we've just put in a bid for 12. Well done. Okay, so because I was lazy and couldn't be bothered to scout them all properly, except Sam Byram, he's still being scouted, but he's only 1.8, so we could probably get him for around about 1 million, which is good. We have inquired for all of these, so Yannick Balassi, because I need a decent left mid, along with Jack Grealish. I don't mind which one I get, but I prefer Balassi. We've also, Ganso is just chilling there. Also, Gaston Ramirez, we could, might be able to get in January, because his contract could be up, but I'm not sure. He's probably worth about 8 million, because he's 78 overall. I know this because I'm doing a Southampton career mode privately, so yeah. Briel, Donald, and Bolo is another player I really want to get because Cochrane didn't really sparkle in the last one, and I need another striker single to just lost Jerome and Embakani, so hopefully we can get some results on these guys. Okay, so Sam Byram is yet to sign a long-term deal with the club, but he's one of the best in the role, so we're going to try and put in a bit of 900k and see if they get back to us with that. They only want 11 million for Briel, Donald, and Bolo. Now, normally with these, they offer, they just say double. So I'm going to go in with six and see if that gets accepted. Also, with Yannick Palassi, they said they want seven, but I'll go four million and a player I don't really want. Um, do I not have any left mids? Wow, I don't. So we'll just give them a right back. See if they take that. Okay, so they want 3.8 for Jack Grealish, so I'm going to go 1.6 and see if they get back to us on that. Yeah, Sao Paulo have accepted, but do I want to spend 12 million on him? Do I want to spend 12 million? Okay, so they accepted a bid from another team, so we won't be going after Jack Grealish. It was West Ham and they put in like a 4 million bid, but we have got Yannick Balassi for 4 million. Which I think is a steal. Okay, so apparently Sam Byram is too valuable to them to sell. I don't think he is, so I'm going to give him exactly what he's worth. If he was too valuable, then, then that's fine. But I'm giving you exactly what he's worth, and hopefully we can pick up Sam Byram. Also, Ganso has accepted, but I, I'm not going to take Ganso. I'm not going to take him. Because look, it drops us down to 13 million, and he's not worth it. I'm not going to take Ganso. Change my mind. Basel still are not taking the bait for Briel, Donald, and Bolo. If we give them 9 million plus Graban, I just don't want Graban, really. It's just another player that I don't need. Balassi's declined, and now I can't apparently put anything in for him. I apparently need to rebuy re -buy Balassi. Balassi is no longer with this club. What? Balassi's apparently gone to Borussia Mönchengladbach. Great. Sam Byram, they want 2.5. You know what? I'll give you 2.2. Okay, so because Balassi just disappeared, we're not quite sure where he went. I'm going to put in a 5 million bid for Jay Rodriguez and hopefully pick him up instead. Real Donald and Bolo, they're still not happy with. So you know what? I'm just going to go, whoa, not 21. I'm going to straight up just play the, pay the 11. See if we can pick him up for that, which would be great because he's a beast. Okay, so both of them get back, and we can now bring both of them in. No, not Brio, Donald, and Bolo hasn't. We're going to just give you Crucial, because you will be, because I'm going to change up formation, which could be interesting. We've also picked up Sam Byram. Hopefully, we can bring him in as well, which would be great, because that's brilliant. But, unfortunately, that is now the end of the episode, because I'm going to leave it 
on just before Crystal Palace. No, I'm not, because Embolo is accepted as well. He wants 20k, that's cool. He can also be crucial. And I've changed my mind yet again. I'm going to just show you the squad report before this game. So we're going to end this episode on a squad report. So our goalkeepers choices, we have five goalkeepers. Okay, I'm going to try and get rid of some of them. We've got Ruddy, who's kept two clean sheets, which is a little bit disappointing. We've got Declan Rudd, who I am now going to send out on loan. We've got Ben Killip, whose contract can just expire. We've got Jake Keane, who's gone up one. Remy Matthews, who's on loan of Burton Albion, which is okay. Our right backs, we've got Whitaker, Afiti, and Norman, and Reese Hall Johnson. So none of those are really doing anything for me. We've got Andre Wisdom, who's on loan. Unfortunately, I, I hate it. We've got Coca, who's looking actually not terrible for someone off his rating. I mean, 55 slide tackle and 64 stand tackle isn't bad. But it, we've got Gafaiti again. He's, how is he better? I'm not even sure. We've got Bennett as a centre-back, who's poor. We've got Basong, who's in poor form. It's terrible. We've got Awuwa, Martin, who's great. What's his finishing? 55, that's ridiculous. We've got Michael Turner out on loan. Olsen at left back, Tofolo, he could be decent in the future, Robbie Brady has gone up one, Besic, his new signing, is looking sick, We've got Malumbu, who's a solid like player, just is, We've got Redmond, who is hopefully going to turn into an absolute god of a player, we got Howson, who's apparently the best player we have, he's played 7.7 .7 match ratings every time, not even sure, we got Elliot Bennett, who's on loan at Bristol City, which is weird. We got Afoe, who's looking decent. We got Graham Dorrance, who should looks dead. We got McGrand McGrandles, McGrandles. Okay, you can go out on loan. We got Teddy O'Neill, Thompson out on loan on Swindon. Matt Jarvis, who I'm not even sure why we've got him on loan. Josh Murphy can come back eventually. Jacob Murphy. Have we got brothers? We have brothers in the team. Cool. Poulahan, who's gone down one, even though he's played every game. We've got Cameron King, Tony Andrew, Cochrane who's coming and he's gone up one, which is not lovely. Again, that stamina is just annoying me. We've got Gary Hooper, Kyle Lafferty, Lewis Graban, Ricky Van Wolfswinkle, who why we even have him still, I don't know. Jamal Lozer, Carlton Morris, and that was all of them. So that's all for today's episode. See you all in the next one. Goodbye!